Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigarelli and I am your guide for everything Chinese medicine and I set it all up so us Westerners can figure it out. Uh, now today we're not exactly talking about Chinese medicine stuff, it's more of a Western thing and it's also statistical. Buckle up kids. Uh, what we're talking about is a thing called mortality and morbidity and also probably incidentally life expectancy, okay? Uh, I want to talk about this because of everything that's going on right now uh, with the whole coronavirus thing, etc., 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 okay? So, first of all, what is morbidity? What does that word mean? Well, uh, you can actually search this word on the internet via Google, and it'll tell you exactly what it means. When it comes up, it says it is the probability that any given person in a given population is going to have a specific disease, illness, or condition. Okay? It's the probability that you're going to get infected with whatever it is. Okay? So, uh, something like common cold would have a rather high morbidity rate. Somewhere probably around like 50%, most likely, uh, depending on certain conditions. Okay? Mortality is the probability that you are going to die from whatever it is, okay? So, common cold again has a rather low mortality rate, uh, just because most of the people that die from the common cold tend to be dying anyway, okay? Or they're severely immunocompromised, such as end-stage AIDS, uh, cancer patient, etc., etc., etc. That's why they watch them so closely, and you have to avoid them because you could be carrying something you're totally fine, you give it to them, and suddenly they're dead. Okay? So, uh, the way all this is calculated is we take a given population, we take the number of people that are currently infected versus that population, versus how whatever that is is spread. If it is spread through biting, don't let them bite you, it's fine. Okay? If it's spread through eating bad food, don't eat that food. If it is spread just randomly through the air, well, that makes things a little bit more awkward. Okay? Um, then we, we can hem back that morbidity rating by eliminating some of the ways that the given disease, illness, or condition can spread through the population. We do that through changes in lifestyle. We eliminate causes. Uh, we do our best to isolate carriers and propagators of whatever it is, okay? As far as mortality goes, if it's got a really high mortality rate, um, generally they just kind of go with, well, we'll do what we can, but probability of us getting through this, kind of low. If it's got a low mortality rate, then it's, then, depending on whatever it is, they will do everything that they can to make sure that doesn't climb. They do that by uh, frustrating the disease um, by making it a lot more difficult for it to latch on and do its thing. Uh, they also, uh, doctors, healthcare professionals will also find ways to kill uh, the cause of the disease or illness or condition. That way it can't kill the host. Okay? So, uh, with that, let's get into life expectancy. Life expectancy, I know what you're thinking, and you're probably wrong. Okay? Life expectancy is the probability of a given population to die by a certain age. That's what you think it is, right? Not correct. It is half the population to die by a certain age, given certain variables. Okay? The reason why life expectancy in the Middle Ages was like 30 or 35 is because when you came of age, they gave you a piece of metal and said, go kill people. 
kind of drop the probability that you're going to make it because they're going to do the same. That is stabby. Okay? Not only that, there, were, there was also unbelievably bad health care. Um, uh, you could get a cat scratch and get a massive staph infection and bye-bye. Okay, that's why. Nowadays, life expectancy is in the 70s and 80s because, well, we're a little bit better at caring for people. That does not mean that once you hit 75 years of age, you're dead. If that was the case, we wouldn't have people that were 100 years old, okay? Now, the interesting part about life expectancy is once we hit that age, that halfway point of 75 years old, 50 years old, whatever it is, based on who and what you are, um, afterwards, we really don't care when you go. You could be a billion years old for all we know. Don't care. That number is just when half of a given population with given variables as to what could potentially kill you, they're gone. That's all it means. Okay? Now, I am in my mid-30s, and I'm a little bit overweight, but I don't smoke. I hardly drink alcohol. Uh, I don't go into bad parts of town, I don't pick fights with strangers, etc, etc, etc. So, according to insurance and medical data, I'm probably going to live to be somewhere in my 80s. Okay? Now, let's say that I start smoking, and um, I'm getting drunk literally every single night. My life expectancy is going to drop down to my probably my 50s maybe sooner, because half of the people that do that stuff are dead by about this time, okay? That's all it means, okay? So, if you want your probable, want the probable point in which you die to increase, you need to be nicer to your body. You also need to not do stupid things, okay? And one of those things right now is breaking quarantine. I understand you want to go outside, you're going stir-crazy, you missed your friends. Don't go have a picnic right now. It can wait. You will be fine. Okay? If you need to get out of the house, go walk around the block, try not to lick someone, wash your hands, etc. Okay? We'll get through this soon. I promise. So if you're new to the channel, Hit that big red subscribe button down below, and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the bell maybe. Uh, if you would like to also get in touch with me uh, directly, uh, you can visit my website, edvigintmed.com. That stands for Vigorelli Integrated Medicine.com. And send me an email, and yes, I will be getting back to you. Uh, I'll see you soon, guys. Stay healthy out there. Take care. Bye-bye.